Hey guys, um, I am here again, Elizabeth, that's me, and I am uh, here to show you how to make a unicorn topper. I hope you really enjoy it. Um, it's kind of, a, I'd say, an intermediate type topper. You know, there's a lot of little fun details and stuff, but just go at your own pace. You know, if you want to like make the details a little bit simpler, just do that, work your way up. But um, I hope you enjoy it, so let's go. So we're going to start out with um, a good sized piece of white fondant. This has a little bit of tylose in it so that it will firm up. You can use gum paste if you want, but I, as always, like to use fondant. Um, <clears throat> roll this in your hand a few times so that you don't have any seams or bubbles. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start shaping the, uh, the body of the unicorn. Put a little bit of powdered sugar on there so that it doesn't stick. So the the first part of this is to make the body, the neck, and the head. And then we're going to let that firm up and then add on some details. So to make a realistic horse body, I'm going to start sort of squeezing this out to define what's the neck and the head and what's the body. I'm just going to kind of use my hands and start sort of pressing this part up using my thumbs and fingers to define where the head is. This is a little bit sticky because I heated up in the I heated it up in the microwave so that it would be nice and soft. And you don't need to worry about it being really, really specific at this point because we're going to add on some more details later. So right now the body is sort of just like a big blob and we want to define uh, some, some pieces of the, the body's anatomy. The, uh, the hind quarters where the legs attach are thinner and then you have the part where, the, where there's the belly we're going to kind of define that. And the part where the uh, shoulders and fore, forefront of the horse's, well, unicorn's legs will be. And when a horse or unicorn is kneeling, they don't kneel on their stomach, you know, with their feet straight out on both sides. They sort of sit on their side. So we're going to kind of twist this so like this will be the leg sitting here, the other leg is underneath, and their two four legs are curled underneath. Give you an idea of what we're going for. And there's sort of like a, a high point of where the, where the backbone is. I'm going to kind of define that. So you can see that the head is really floppy right now because the fondant is soft. So I'm going to take a wooden skewer with a little bit of Tylos water just on that and I'm going to stick that down into the neck and head once I have everything sort of shaped about where I want it to be and squish that so that it stays. And that will um, that will give the head some stability while this dries. And I want the head to sort of look this way. And you can decide how much detail or you, you want to put in or you don't want to put in. I'm going to put in more detail so that you can leave out as much as you feel like you want to. Giving some shape to the to the neck. Giving some length to the nose. A little bit more length to the body. And I 
nice round belly. Then I'm gonna give this a little, little groove right here where the, the uh, cheek would be. Do the same thing to the other side. And uh, horses have really defined necks and shoulder areas. So we're gonna give a little line here to define the neck shoulder area. And you wanna do this while it's still soft because this is the main, the main body. And we're gonna add in some hair, well, a mane and some, some uh, ears and things like that later, but we wanna get this part taken care of first. It's gonna be a really beautiful horse. Unicorn, unicorn, I keep saying horse, but it's unicorn. So I'm going to give a little bit of definition to the, the muzzle here and let that dry. And I'm going to start off by doing some nostrils, just poking in there and pulling up a little bit. Poking, oops, pulled too much. Poke in, pull up. And then to do the mouth, I'm going to define where the corner of the mouth is, both sides and then cut in the bottom part of the mouth. So that she's got a little bit of a jaw and then re-smush that out. The head is fairly narrow and we'll add some cheeks later. But for now, we're gonna let that set up get firm before we add anything else. Turn the head again. So we have our unicorn here who's been drying overnight. We're ready to start adding the details. So the first thing I'm going to do is take an ordinary toothpick and insert this in the forehead area. And that will be the horn. And I think I'm going to make about that big. You know, I want it to be kind of long so it looks nice. My fondant here and my Tylos powder. And the first thing I'm going to do is add the back leg. I'm also going to put some powdered sugar on the table here so that she doesn't stick. So the way we do the hoofs is we Make a shape like this, and that's going to be the hoof part. And then we're going to elongate the hind part of the leg. And there needs to be sort of this thin, thin spot between the hoof and, I guess, would be the ankle, so that it looks right anatomically correct. And then let's see about about that long. We're gonna go ahead and bend the leg. And we don't really need much of the the other rest of the leg because it's going to be underneath her. A little Tylos water. Stick that under there. Her hoof laying just like that because she's just chilling. 
a little bit more fondant this time. Add, add some Tylos. And this is going to be the other leg. Start off the same, making the hoof. Start extending out the leg. Don't forget the thin spot between the hoof and the ankle. Make sure the hoofs are about the same size. Start bending back for the ankle, or elbow I guess this would be, I'm not sure. And we want to keep this part, this is going to be the, you know, like the thigh area I guess. I don't know horse terms. So let's go ahead and get this wet with our Tylos water. Nice and generous. And lay that over there. And we'll, we've got a seam here that we want to push on. a little more Tylos water and my tool here around so you can kind of see to kind of smooth out that edge and work it into the body to make sure that seam is nice and smooth. And this is why you really need to let the let the body dry overnight. Otherwise, things get smushed really fast. Back and forth, back and forth. And couple little details of a horse anatomy. There's this line back here. Gives the, the hindquarters some realism. It's like a muscle. Since I have to ship a little line for the leg muscle. Since I have to ship this topper, I have to continually think about how to strengthen little pieces that are hanging off the main figure so that they don't break in the mail. Like that. Okay, back to the tail. Thicker at one end, and then thin in the middle. And then a little tuft of hair, or fur, I don't really know what that is. But I know the unicorns have it, or at least this unicorn does. Attach that onto the back, that's already nice and sticky. Kind of twist it a little bit. Gives it a little cute detail. And 
get that seam in the back again. Okay, front legs. The chest here, we made these lines to uh, define where the muscles of the chest are, so we're going to add on some legs going off the, that chest area and uh, so that the chest of the horse has some bulk to it, looks good. Making sure I got not lots of Tylos in my fondant here. And like I said before, you can use gum paste if you want or a combination of gum paste and fondant. I just always use fondant. I just like the way that it works, how it feels, has a little bit of push to it. Even though people don't usually eat my toppers, they could because they're made of marshmallows. Okay, shoulder area, part of the leg, Hoof. Paying attention to that thin part. I used to draw horses a lot when I was a kid. Thought they were so beautiful. Loved their eyes, their eyelashes. My dad gave me this book on charcoal drawings that had a horse and a cat, I think a couple of other things, but I would just draw that horse over and over again. Okay, bend the back, uh, let's see, make sure this is not upside down, the hoof needs to be this way. Very important not to put your arms or legs or hoofs on backwards. That would not be good. A little line for muscle definition. About right there. Just kind of curve that. a little bit. Curve that up around the body. Seal the seams. Work them in. And then the other side, not quite as much fondant because just like the other leg, it's going to be tucked under a little. Make sure they're the same. Just 
slightly under the horse. And this comes up just like the other side. Seal the edges just like usual. Okay, face time. Start out with some black with Tylos added, nice sized black ball, each side, about there. From the front, make sure you're even. Side looks good. Well, it doesn't really look that good yet, but it will. Take a little bit of the white. Make a shape about like, like a little oval, but one side's flat. We're just going to put that right over the eye. Then use our tool here to give some definition to the eyelid. And then blend in the rest. This gives the, the eye area some character. And we're going to do the same, the same shape on underneath the, the eye, but a little bit bigger because we want the horse to have a little bit of cheek. They got those gorgeous little cheeks. So kind of the same shape, just a little bit bigger. That right there. And then use your tool to define the bottom. Since this is the bottom of the horse's face, we don't really have to worry about that too much. Looks natural with an edge there. And that's why we did it that way. So we could utilize that edge. Looks natural. We're going to do the same thing to the other side down. And this is kind of a tricky part. Let's see if I can show you exactly what I mean. And still see what I'm doing. I'm going to add very, very small eyelash. I start off with a little bit more of the black, very clean and dry fingers, very small amount black. I'm gonna roll this in between my fingers. And 
use this tool to attach that right on there. If you're a lady, you will definitely relate to this process. It's like a, attaching false eyelashes. Now our unicorn has a pretty eye. I'm going to do the same to the other side. So to do the ears, a small amount of fondant, we'll just press flat. And then you're going to pinch the bottom together. And then pinch the top together a little bit. See so how that shape? That's the ear. Then we're going to go ahead and start adding some mane and little strips like so. Usually put a few little lines in there like we did the tail. And this is kind of just however you want it to be. Whatever you think looks good. Oh, we probably should do the horn. Get that wet. Roll out a long skinny piece of fondant. Don't worry about if you don't have enough. You can always add more for this particular thing. Just press like a stick. Just wrap, wrap, wrap. Give it a couple pinches and a couple turns to make sure everything's all tight. There we have it, our little fondant unicorn, all ready to go on top of our cake. Thank you very much for watching my tutorial. I hope you tune in next time for more tutorials, and I'll uh, see you then. Thanks for watching.